The following program is a paid presentation by Maverick Multimedia Incorporated. Hey friends, I'm Rick Walker. Welcome to another edition of the SST Car Show. We have a lot of really cool stuff lined up for you today. Tom Sarmento, the mechanic for the General Lee from the Dukes of Hazard television series, will join us a little later on in the show and share some secrets of the General Lee and some secrets from the television show, stuff you just never knew before. We're also going to take a look at some custom cars from the SEMA Auto Show, including a thing called the Green Go, a Chevy Impala that's going to blow you away. And we'll show you a car that pays tribute to World War II fighter planes. But first, here's our review of the all-new Chevy Cruze. The new Chevy Cruze is, in a word, practical. That's what makes it good, and that's what makes it not so good. Yes, it's practicality that makes it good and bad, so let me explain. The big news with the Chevy Cruze is the addition of a hatchback. It gives you 23 cubic feet of cargo area. Fold down the rear seats, and you get 47 cubic feet of cargo area. Now that's all cool and practical. This is also a car that is built fairly well. It's tight, it's solid, it's quiet. It's North American. It's practical. That's good. However, because it's practical, it's also not very much fun. There is only one engine option. It's a turbocharged 1.4 liter four cylinder. The problem is, it doesn't feel like it even has a turbo. So this is an RS, Rally Sport, right? So upper scale trim package, it's supposed to have a more powerful engine, but it does not feel like it. It does not feel like it has much juice, and it should. When you put your foot in it, it just doesn't go anywhere. Eventually it grabs, but it, it just doesn't have much kick. The bottom line is the car is, in our opinion, underpowered. And that is, in part, the result of the engine being dropped into a fairly heavy car. You know, you got this six-speed transmission. You should be able to, you know, work it through the gears and get something out of this thing. But it really is a granny mobile. It was often difficult to determine exactly which gear I should be driving in to make sure I was getting the best fuel economy or performance. In fact, the more I drove it, the more frustrated I became with it. I normally like to drive stick because it's fun, but driving this six-speed manual cruise was just a chore. So if you're looking at a cruise, I would say check out the automatic. It's a six-speed as well, but you will probably enjoy it a whole lot more. I understand that the price point on these things has gone up since GM made some changes to the cruise. And I'm not so sure that's going to be a good thing because there are a lot of other cars in this category that it's competing against that I think really, probably, definitely better. This is a car that will get you 34 miles to the gallon on average, which isn't bad. Cost of overall operation should be relatively low. It has some pretty cool features. It comes with 10 airbags a rear view camera, Stabilitrack stability control, OnStar guidance, rear park assist, lane change alert, and even features to prevent your son or daughter from turning off safety features. And a monitor and recorder that lets you check on your kids to make sure their driving habits are good when they get home. So driving a cruise for teens may not be as much fun as it used to be either, but it should be safer. The cruise looks good, but drives like a grocery getter even with the turbocharged engine. I have to say that of all the cars I've driven this year, of every car, and there have been a lot, 
This one is the most disappointing. It's nice, but it's just not very much fun. It is, however, a safe choice. And as I said, it's practical. And that is what has made the Chevy Cruze Chevrolet's number one selling car around the world. With three and a half million of these cars sold since its introduction. Rick Walker, SST Car Show News. We take you now to the SEMA Auto Show in Las Vegas, Nevada, where we found the Green Go, a custom Chevy Impala. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are looking at the Green Go. This is a custom 1970s Chevy Impala by the Jemens Brothers Air Ride and Rod Shop. This thing is really cool. What they've done is they've dropped in a monster, high-performance, modern V8. They've given this thing kind of a satin finish, all done up in green, and inside, the interior has been decked out in an all-leather treatment with suede inserts into the seats. It sits on an air ride suspension, it has high-performance bare braking system, and it has a kicker audio system as well. Nothing has been left untouched. The entire thing is custom, and it has been pushed right up at the front here at the SEMA Auto Show in Las Vegas. It is one of the feature vehicles, and it's turning heads here in the desert. Rick Walker, SST, Car Show News. Don't go away. When we come back, we'll take a look at a car that pays tribute to World War II fighter planes. Hey, I'm Jessica. Don't go away. There's more SSC right around the corner. Introducing the Lotus Super Hearing Device. Superior sound at a fraction of the price from Siemens and Super Geeks. Hearing aids can cost as much as $4,000 or more, but the Lotus is now affordable. Its revolutionary digital processor reduces background noise, delivering crystal clear audio. Rated a best buy through this special Super Geek Superstore offer, you can get the Lotus Super Hearing Device for just four easy payments of $49.99. That's right, just four easy payments of $49.99. It fits behind my ear very comfortably and I don't even realize I'm wearing it. Fully guaranteed, uses standard batteries. Call 1-866-248-1490. Change your life for the better. Hear conversations, watch TV, even take telephone calls with confidence again. Manufactured to world-class standards by Siemens. Hearing aids are so expensive, but this is very reasonable. I now can hear what people are saying, even in a noisy restaurant or a noisy environment. Don't be fooled by cheaper devices. This is an affordable, high-quality hearing solution. Call 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Or visit supergeeksuperstore.com to order. Now I can hear everything, and it's changed my entire life. The Lotus Super Hearing Device from Siemens and Super Geeks. Not available in stores. Sally hates paying for cable TV, so she got the Super Geeks Super Tana. Sally called 1-866-248-1490 and ordered online at the SuperGeeksSuperstore.com. Now she watches dozens of high-definition TV channels for free. Sally gets all the major networks and specialty channels, even old classic shows. You can too, and save money every month. 100% legal, no more monthly fees. Her picture quality is as good as or better than cable. She even gets channels the cable company don't offer. Compact enough to mount in your attic or on your balcony and tough enough to mount on your roof. Plus, the Super Tana comes with a video amplifier and wireless remote control. Call 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Get smart like Sally and order your Super Tana at supergeeksuperstore.com. 
Bring back the excitement with these all new Super Geeks retro video game consoles. This Super Nintendo style console has 621 games included. Save this weekend just $29.99. Super Mario, Street Fighter, Tetris, Pac-Man, and hundreds of other classic video games included. Plug and play on any modern TV and enjoy yesterday's classic games in full high definition. HDMI cable included. Systems come with two controllers. Order now from a real person at 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Or order online. Visit supergeekssuperstore.com. Don't be fooled by cheaper systems. Super Geek Systems use modern HDMI cables for modern full HD quality. 1-866-248-1490. SuperGeeksSuperstore.com. Super Geek's retro video game consoles. Bringing the past into the future. Turn back the hands of time with Antique Chevrolet Parts. Since 1971, we've been sourcing parts from around the world to help you restore and maintain antique Chevs. No tail fins? We have your parts. Call us toll-free at 1-866-767-2787. Get help from a real person or go to AntiqueChev.com. Download a catalog. Order online. Delivered to your front door. Antique Chev, helping you turn back the hands of time. Hey friends, welcome back to the SST Car Show. Let's head on back to the SEMA Auto Show in Las Vegas, Nevada now, where our own Jessica Kaloran found a car that pays tribute to the P-32 fighter plane from World War II. Now this thing was custom built by Troy Trepanier. Behind me is the P-32. This car is a chip boost design team effort. This pays tribute to the P-52 World War II Warhawk fighter plane. The finish resembles aluminum used in World War II fighter planes. This is a 1932 custom Ford that really looks like it could fly. This car is powered by a V12 Lincoln Zephyr engine. It was built for the Lincoln Electric Welding Company. The seats are out of a real World War II fighter plane. I'm Jessica Kaloran with the SST Car Show here at the SEMA Auto Show in Las Vegas, Nevada. And now an interview with a car culture hero, Tom Sarmento, the lead mechanic from the Dukes of Hazard television series. Tom shares with us now some of his memories and secrets of the General Lee Dodge Charger. We are here at the Fleetwood Country Cruise Inn in London, Ontario with Tom Sarmento, General Lee, lead mechanic. Correct. Yeah, great show. Oh, it's fantastic. Look at the weather. <laughs> Couldn't ask for better. And you've got a General Lee right here. You've got a General Lee here. And uh, Rob uh, Murphy brought his in here. So we had a uh, nice uh, backdrop. And... Uh, you know, we're just having a great time here. So you're meeting the fans here today, signing autographs. People probably come here with a million different questions, but the but they must always want to know about those infamous jumps. Well, Where you, you know, yeah. the number one question is, is where's Kathy? And let's hear the horn. <laughs> well, Kathy's not here, and the horn, well, I hope we don't hear it too much. Right. But well, the infamous jumps, yes. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, Al Wyatt uh, Jr. He went uh, 237 feet, you know, back in the day uh, on Granny Annie. Uh, it was the episode uh, when he jumped. He had flip flops on. He had a pair of shorts, helmet, neck brace, and five point, and he went that kind of he went that kind of distance. I mean, 
nobody has gone that far yet other than than Al Wyatt. So how do they do that? I mean, is, is that like just the car or are they using some sort of a, a slingshot or what are they doing? No, nope, it's all car. It's all, uh, all car, ramp, and the biggest thing is, is the stunt driver. He believes that that car will go that far. So we build him a car that he is very comfortable in. They do not like to hear any noises. They're very superstitious. But if you, if you do that for them, let them do a couple approaches, they're comfortable in that car, they'll make that car sail. So when these things jump, I mean, this is like a one-time thing because after they've gone through that, you're not using that for much no, else. No, it's, it's done. We only used them one time. Yeah. They, were, they were expendable. We did more damage than we could buy a new one for. So, and it's already written off on the show. So, and the liability, there's, there's other things that could be gone wrong that we couldn't see. But uh, so that was just a standard. The car is used once, it was charged off on the show. The next stop, remove the safety equipment, tires and batteries, and it went to the crusher. How do you prepare a car for a jump like that? Well, I give myself a good 440. I like the 383s also, uh, but Al Wyatt Jr., he preferred a 440 engine. He preferred 14 inch tires and rims on the front, 15 on the back. Um, most of the guys didn't care for the console shifter. They'd rather have it right there where you can, on the column, where they could actually see it and, and pull it into gear. And um, like I say, it's just making them uh, comfortable because you're strapped in that car and then you're waiting for you know, uh, roll cameras and, then, you know, camera one, two, three, four, possibly five. You're sitting in that car waiting for that and then all of a sudden goes, camera four, jam. So everything comes to a stop. You're still buckled into that car and then they start it all over again. But you, you want to get out of the things just as soon as you can. I mean, your heart rate is definitely up. I don't care who you are or anything, your heart rate is up. And... Uh, then once it's all over, the, you know what? I could have went a little faster. <laughs> it sounds a lot like launching a rocket. Yes, it is. You know, and it's just it's just a glide. I mean, and the car comes down, and we try to make them land a little bit on the nose, so that that actually absorbs all the shock before it hits the driver. It's just like in NASCAR. Those cars are made when they hit a wall, they crumble up first before it gets to the driver. Even back in the 70s and 80s, that's what we used to do. So you put a roll cage in them, but you kind of, did you engineer crumple zones into the well, front no, then? Well, we, no, we, did, we didn't have time to do that. Uh, we used a good, uh, A.J. Thrasher built these cages, and uh, they were very stout. We checked the cages once they are done to see if there was any kind of a flaw or anything in that, which we didn't have. But come to think about the superstitious thing, AJ used to chew tobacco. He's a big old guy. He was a furrier when, when he was younger. And he used to chew that tobacco. Well, he'd take a wad of that tobacco and he'd put it right in the middle of the dash. And it'd be dripping down there and it'd just get hardened and dry. Not one of the stunt guys would remove that tobacco. <laughs> it'd be bad luck. And, you know, other things that we did is... Each one of the ramps had horseshoes. AJ put a horseshoe on it with going up on the ramps for the stunt guys. You know, our pipe ramps, our jump ramps, and everything like that. Uh, there's a lot of superstition in that. Don't go away. When we come back, our interview with Tom Sarmento, lead mechanic from the Dukes of Hazard television series, continues. Don't go away. There's more SST coming right at you. back the excitement with the Super Geeks Classic Video Game System. Get 600 classic video games built into this sleek, retro-styled gaming console. No games to buy, no cartridges needed. Comes with everything you need. Two controllers included. Super Mario, Street Fighter, 
Pac-Man, and hundreds of other games, all built in. These updated systems have modern HDMI video output, so they connect to today's high-definition flat-screen TVs. Some other systems still use old connectors and won't work on modern televisions, but the Super Geeks consoles are ready for today's HD TVs. Order yours today at supergeeks.tv or call 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. The Super Geeks Classic Video Game System, bringing the past into the future. Introducing the Lotus Super Hearing Device. Superior sound at a fraction of the price from Siemens and Super Geeks. Hearing aids can cost as much as $4,000 or more, but the Lotus is now affordable. Its revolutionary digital processor reduces background noise, delivering crystal clear audio. Rated a best buy through this special Super Geek Superstore offer, you can get the Lotus Super Hearing Device for just four easy payments of $49.99. That's right, just four easy payments of $49.99. Fully guaranteed, don't be fooled by cheaper devices. This is an affordable, high-quality hearing solution. Call 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Or visit supergeeksuperstore.com to order. Now I can hear everything, and it's changed my entire life. The Lotus Super Hearing Device from Siemens and Super Geeks. Not available in stores. Watch movies, sports, and TV shows with no monthly fees. Get your Super Geeks Android TV box. Simply connect to your TV with the supplied HDMI cable and connect to Wi-Fi. Watch what you want when you want. On demand in high definition, even 4K. A great alternative to cable, Netflix, satellite, and video rentals. Don't settle for a smart TV. Turn your TV into a genius with a Super Geeks Android TV box. Boxes start as low as $39.99 with full warranty. Pays for itself. Select from thousands of free online shows. We even provide remote service so you'll never be without your TV. Updates itself automatically. 30-day money-back guarantee. Call 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Available at the SuperGeekSuperstore.com. Bring back the excitement with these all-new Super Geeks retro video game consoles. This Super Nintendo-style console has 621 games included. Save this weekend just $29.99. Super Mario, Street Fighter, Tetris, Pac-Man, and hundreds of other classic video games included. Plug and play on any modern TV and enjoy yesterday's classic games in full high definition. HDMI cable included. Systems come with two controllers. Order now from a real person at 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Or order online. Visit supergeeksuperstore.com. Don't be fooled by cheaper systems. Super Geek Systems use modern HDMI cables for modern full HD quality. 1-866-248-1490. SuperGeeksSuperstore.com. Super Geek's retro video game consoles. Bringing the past into the future. Hey friends, welcome back to the SST Car Show. Our interview with Tom Sarmento, lead mechanic from the Dukes of Hazzard television series, continues now. So what are, what are you doing now? Because I know that you've been on the road sometimes. The show on television might be over, but the Duke's legend lives on, the mania lives on, the fans are still out there, and you're still greeting them, and I think you're still on occasion even jumping a car. No, jumping's gone. That's done. I did the, my last one in 2009. It was a team van, and it was a little sore on that, so fractured my spine so that that was the last of it because I'm 70 years old now but I just got back from uh, five weeks in Europe uh, I was over in Ireland I had a, a car in Northern Ireland uh, one in Ireland one in Germany and one in Holland and uh, so we did a photo shoot with the uh, castle that the, in Trim Ireland it had this fantastic archway and six years ago we did it and we were going to film in that archway but it, it rained and we were going to tear up all their lawn and stuff and they were nice enough to do it. Well we got a permit to go ahead and bring the car in there did another shoot. 
So we did that shoot, and then it should be in a magazine in, uh, out of Los Angeles, uh, either the end of the year or next year. I'm going to ask you uh, one last question. I know okay. lots of people here. It's a little bit controversial, but I want your opinion on it, and you know where I'm going. Yeah, I know. I, I just want your opinion on on the flag on the roof of the General Lee. What do you what do you think of that? Should well, it come off or should it stay on? Well, it should stay on. It was a battle flag. It had nothing to do with race or anything else like that. You know, like like I always say, it was a battle flag. The car went out to do battle on the short tracks on the weekends, and. If you really want to debate on that flag, you just go talk to Mr. Ben Jones. He knows all the political I've, I've aspects read of that. Quotes and I've seen him in some videos. Yes, so I have a yeah. pretty good idea what he's what he but, thinks. Right, and you know, nothing was said uh, 35 years ago and stuff like that. It's just, it's just some of those people, you know, being in the wrong place, wrong time with a, with the flag, you know. But it was a battle flag, you know, and it meant nothing, uh, you know, to us on the show. I mean, we never even give it a second thought. Yeah, it, I guess it depends on how you or someone, you know, maybe superimposing a meaning on something. Correct. And, you know, that's heritage on, you know, different parts. I mean, that's what our country was based on, on, on freedom and, you know, First Amendment rights. So, you know, but like I say, is if you want to debate somebody, <laughs> Mr. Ben Jones is the man to talk to. He's a con He was a congressman for two terms. Well, you know, I think the show, too, and we talked about this before the last time we spoke, it, it was really kind of family oriented right yes. it's a g-rated it's a g-rated show which cartoons. is why it's still popular today. cartoons aren't even g-rated anymore yeah. you know yeah. and you watch these kids growing up with that stuff but you know there was no blood there was nobody getting shot uh, you know it was fun it was, it was slapstick humor we all had fun made fun of everybody and just had a good time yeah well i Hope maybe someday you come out of retirement, maybe not jump yourself, but maybe help somebody. You should come here and jump a car out in the well, back. We, we discussed that with uh, with Steve uh, a couple years ago, you know. Maybe we could get somebody to come out here instead of doing a big jump or maybe do a turnover or something because it's expensive. And, yes, I do spend a lot of money on the cars and uh, because they got to be done right, and that's the only way I'm going to build them, uh, you know. And if, if it's... Too much for the budget, then we're not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. You know, so uh, like I say, we got to make it safe. Well, Tom, you have lots of people here today who want to meet you, so we're going to cut it off there. But man, it's been an absolute oh, hey, privilege. Great. And I appreciate the other interview the other uh, couple weeks ago. All right. Okay. Thank Thanks you very so much. much. Okay. A huge thank you to Tom Sarmento and to Steve Plunkett the host of the Fleetwood Country Cruise Inn in London, Ontario, where we met Tom. The Fleetwood Country Cruise Inn is the largest outdoor car show in Canada, and we'll be heading back there again this year. Well, friends, that's all the time we have for this week. So until next time, I'm Rick Walker reminding you, when you can't get to the car show, we'll bring the car show to you online at sstcarshow.com. Multimedia Production.